I recently made a video where I demonstrated how I'm able to light up LEDs from the radio frequency energy that's in the air from our local AM broadcast transmitters. And a lot of you guys that saw my demonstration were kind of curious to know how much power I'm actually getting. Well, I put together a little circuit here that enables me to measure it. What I did was I got my 200-foot long wire antenna that goes up over a pine tree, kind of like an inverted V. And I've got it running into the antenna tuner. And when I fine-tune everything just right, I'm actually able to charge this capacitor here up to 59 volts. Without the antenna tuner, I can only charge it to about 26.8 volts. But when I get that antenna tuned just right, I guess it's matching the impedance. I'm able to get more power into the uh, capacitor that way. In fact, much to my surprise, I was able to hook up this motor here. And I'm actually running this motor off the power coming from the local AM broadcast transmitter. Now the transmitter is about a mile and a half from here and they're putting out about 10,000 watts in the daytime. So you wouldn't think that there would still be that much power available at this distance where I could actually run a motor. But much to my surprise there is. In fact I calculated it looks like I'm drawing about 12 milliampers from the motor and it, it creates a voltage drop. It drops down to about 1.5 volts. Now watch if I disconnect my capacitor here, that 1.5 volts starts climbing real quick. So if I if I had less of a load on the uh, capacitor, of course we'd see a much much higher voltage. But this motor requires a certain amount of current to draw or to operate, so it's going to create a bit of a voltage drop. Anyway, the power output, I'm, I'm calculating it to be about 18 milliwatts. That's 18 thousandths of a watt. So it's not a lot of power. So some of you guys that were wondering if it would be possible to run a car or an appliance in your house on this kind of power, uh, I can't see any way that that could possibly work. However, if you happen to have the radio station right in your backyard, I suppose you'd be getting a lot more power. That might be a fun experiment at some point to... Uh, see how close I can get to the transmitter and actually see if I can't get uh, a bit more power. Anyway, there you have it. Free energy. Well, it's not really free. Our, our local uh, radio station is paying for it. So uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for the free energy here for my experiment. You can see when I touch this, it draws, draws the power down just a little bit. Motor still runs okay, but it does, does draw the power down just a little. If you let go, you can see it quickly climbs back up. Anyway, if you happen to have one of these antenna tuners, that's where I put all the settings to get maximum output. I love the fact that I could look at the meter here and, and tune this these two knobs here for maximum output. And I can see right on the meter when I've got it at its peak output there. All right. Hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up.